What's going on everybody, MonkeyDo22 here for another tip, trick, or tutorial video. And in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to set up two-step verification on your Nintendo account. That's right, Nintendo recently announced and has enabled two-step verification on your account. What is two-step verification? Basically, it's going to add an additional layer of security that can help uh, prevent unauthorized access to your account. As a quick side note, this option is not available for Nintendo Child accounts that is age 12 and under. Once two-step verification is enabled, you'll need to log in using both your password and a code which will be sent to your smart device via the Google Authenticator app. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see how to set this up. In your web browser of choice, you're going to want to navigate to accounts.nintendo.com and sign into your account. Me personally, I signed up using the Nintendo Network ID, so I'm going to go ahead and select that option right now to sign in. And it's going to ask me for my Nintendo Network ID and password. I'm going to click sign in here. And once we're signed into our account on accounts.nintendo.com, we're going to scroll down and we're going to select sign in and security settings. After we're on the signed in and security settings, we're going to go ahead and scroll down to two-step verification and click edit. From this screen here, we can see that we currently have two-step verification not set. So we want to go ahead and click on two-step verification setup. And on this screen, we can see that to proceed, we need to verify our email address. An email containing a verification code will be sent to your registered email address. We can click on that. And now that we see that an email has been sent to that registered email address, we must enter the verification code in that email. Remember that this email will expire in 24 hours, so make sure to grab that code as soon as you possibly can. Now, once you've gone ahead and gotten that code and put it in the box and click submit, you're now going to need to set up the Authenticator app on your phone. Now this will work on an Android phone or an iOS phone, but you need to install the Google Authenticator app. So basically what you need to do is you can click on either one of those buttons to install the application on Google Play or on any app store, and you'll need to set up the application on your phone. This is not something that I can really show you because this is something that is personal and you need to do this on your own end. But basically what you need to do is once you get it installed, you can scan the picture, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to give you a code that you're going to and then put in the box below where it says enter code. Once you've gone ahead and put that code in the box and advanced to the next screen, you're pretty much complete. All you need to do now is you need to save these backup codes because basically if you lose or change your device and cannot access the Google Authenticator app, you'll need to use one of these codes listed on this page to sign back into your account. Now, each one of these codes can only be used one time. So I advise you to write them down, stick them somewhere safe, you know, a filing cabinet, a, you know, safe, what have you, wherever you know that you're gonna keep these codes safe because you will need these codes to access your account again if you, for some reason, no longer have access to your device with the Google Authenticator app on it. Once you have confirmed that you've written down the codes by clicking the box that says, I have saved the backup codes, go ahead and click OK, and you are done here. Now, if for any reason you want to disable two-step verification on your account, you're basically you're going to just go right back there to the two-step verification menu and go ahead and click edit. And from there, you'll have the option to authenticate your account again and then disable two-step verification. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful and informative in helping you set up your two-step verification on your Nintendo account. If you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave me a comment in the comment sections below. I respond to those frequently and I'll do my best to respond to you as soon as I possibly can if you have any questions. But if you thought this video was helpful, please share it with your friends who might also be interested in setting up their two-step verification on their Nintendo account. And be sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel for more support content just like this. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm MonkeyDude22, and I'll see you in the next video.